Yeah. This is my video on faith and appreciation. And on this note, I want to first of all talk about my faith. I believe in Jesus Christ as my personal savior and Lord. And I will say that if not for God, I might not be born. If not for God and my father, I might not be born. However, I was born and I'm still living. Thank God for that. I was brought up, or I would say we were brought up by our father in a Christian way. However, I received Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord on the 25th of August, 1990. That is when I received Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. Since then, I will say that it was up and down some time. But one thing I always say that is that I will never give up on God because He is so sufficient for me. Christ is sufficient for me. And that, as I always write, when I want to tag, I say, God is faithful. So indeed, God has been faithful to me. And if not for the faithfulness of God, I can't live even to share my story, part of my story today. However, I'm talking to you because I am alive. So about faith. Faith, I believe as a Christian, I must have a good relationship with my God through the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is my guide. The Holy Spirit reminds me about the way and as I read and meditate, I always like the way of God to guide me. As I said, I have fallen before, but thank God God has not given up on me. In the challenging moments, and it was going to be like I was going to lost my life, but God sustained to it and took me out of those situations. So my whole thing I believe as a Christian is that first you receive Christ as a person in the world, it should be a relationship with God and also in that we fellowship with other people and also take the word to other people to see what you are experiencing. And to be fair, I don't go into argument with people about faith, about my, my faith or belief in Jesus. I don't, I don't go into argument. No. I, if I talk to you about Christ, I pray because it is not by my power. My responsibility is to tell people about Christ. It is the responsibility of the Holy Spirit to convict them about the world. So that is my, my belief. And that I share the word of God online and with friends. And my greatest desire is that my way of life will tell more about Christ rather than bring the name of God into this repeat. And by the grace of God, I'm going, I'm moving, and the times that I was down, God lifted me up. And I will say by the grace of God, I've never given up on my God. Now, coming to the issue of appreciation, I will still say, first of God, I appreciate God. First of all, I appreciate God for my life and that I'm still living, I'm in the land of the living. I thank God for that, that he has not given up on me. He is still shaping me in his goodness and that I know things will get better. 
I also know that there are certain things God wants me to do and I'm creating the platforms and I will by all means do and fulfill those parts of my living and I know God will help me. Secondly, I want to thank God for the father I had. My father. My father was more or less my rescue from my mother's womb when I was born. When I was born, I was given to my grandmother. My grandmother said, who raised me and I want to appreciate God for bringing these people as my family people who never give, uh, give up on me and I also appreciate all my families. I know not everyone like the way I'm living my adventurous life, but I know by the grace of God, everyone will be proud of me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I want to move on to school. I want to appreciate Mr. Ernest Tamu. And now he's now Pastor Ernest Tamu. He's now on the target. I thank God that the discussion he and my father had turned out to be positive, and that today I can stand on my feet and still say I have a dream that I must affect my generation. Mr. Ernest Amo, I say thank you so much for the love and support. I will never forget you. You are my, my own mother. And I thank you so much for the support and the encouragement you gave me. Even the time that we were on the, on the road from Sanjuba Bahama to Amfota I will never forget those days. Now, moving on, and uh, I want to appreciate teachers that taught me in secondary school and those who were so much interested in my development. First of all, Mr. Astravo, Mr. T. T. Astravo. Mr. Astravo became, uh, became my mentor, or uh, has become my mentor. Uh, since the, the time, how this how the relationship started? relationship started. I was sent to his house to work for him. And after I finished the work, he saw me and said, hey, you'll be my friend since then. In fact, it's two days, so there were some times if I want to go to the house, I was a boarder, I was in a boarding school. If I want to go to the house, Mr. Strava will ask me, how do you want to go in the house? And if I tell him some of them, say, you know, go, come and take this thing if you provide it. He brought me books also. So, Mr. Ashwango, I appreciate you. Other people I need to appreciate are Miss Alain Garriba, Miss Lina. She was my English and literature and uh, mistress and teacher. And she helped me to discover myself and the problems in studying. She was also my champion, who championed my poetry and sometimes. And those who remember these days are true. And Mr. Miss Lena was the one who helped me out. Apart from Miss uh, Ms. Lena and uh, Mr. Strano, I also have other people like Mr. Dibley, who was our instructor then, and many other teachers. I move on to my training college time. I will talk about, apart from every other teacher who helped me, I will talk about Mr. Abeku Emisa. Mr. Abeku Emisa was my literature tutor in the training college. He inspired me a lot and he made literature so simple that I fall in love with, with literature. And I write poetry, I write short stories, I write articles. That is the foundation. Moving on, when I completed school, I started teaching, teaching and moving on. Before I went to the university, there were friends that were there for me. I remember Ativo, Ativo, I remember Francis, I remember 
all other people who help me to move on to the university. And at university, I can say, yes, they were very good lectures that I had. Uh, I was not, to be frank, I must say that in the university, I was not close to lectures as much, but I tried to uh, pursue other things to make my university education complete. I was running here and there, attending seminars, training programs to be able to, to get some other aspects of knowledge and skills that I could not get when I was in, when I go to the lectures. However, I must say that Professor Atu Aye was one of my inspirations, my mentors in the university. His way of life, his principles, he, Mr. Uh, Professor Atu Aye was a disciplined man who, in fact, then he was the dean of social sciences, that's social studies. And if he had assignments, uh, that is office assignments, and he not come to lecture at the time, he will reschedule the, the, the lectures, and we will have to attend the lectures even at the weekends. So Mr. Uh, Professor uh, Atu Ayo was my inspiration. I must also say that one person who influenced me in my writing was Professor Boafu Atta. The full name is Professor Kwame Boafu Atta. And I had a, a, a very interesting experience with him, which I honestly covered in one of my books because there are lessons that we need to learn, and whether you are up there or you are down, never look down upon anybody. However, I need to appreciate Professor Kwame Boafata because through my research under him, which in fact some people were running and away from him. I remember that year, that's 2006. Six, I was the only one who did my long essay under him because people were not comfortable with his demeanor. But I took it as a challenge, I went through it, and he gave me A, which boosts my uh, GPA, and I was able to get second class upper in my education, my, my first degree. So first degree by the grace of God with the determination and going, running here and there, I was able to make second class upper. Now, moving on, there are many friends along the line I need to appreciate, but I need to appreciate pastors who are there for me, especially those of them who, when I started the vision, Reverend SDK Dunavi, Reverend Ati, that's Raf Ati Ati, Reverend Prosper, uh, Prosper Chachu, Reverend Mauli Agorugo, Reverend S.D. Kendodo, and all other people, also Reverend Dr. Abochi, who prays for me every day and send me messages. I thank you all for the support. I must say that, though there are challenges, I will not disappoint my God. I will not disappoint those who believe in me. I will not disappoint my family and I will not disappoint the purpose of God for my life. My desire is that my life will be a legacy and not a liability. And all that I pursue in my life, the truth is that I am pursuing royalties, legacies rather than uh, rather than wealth. I'm pursuing to have legacies that I'll leave for my children and my children's children. When my children hear of my name, they should be proud of me. That is all I will say. My life is for a purpose. I am born for a purpose. And I believe that that purpose of God 
will come to pass in my life. Finally, I want to say that yes, there are challenges of life. However, if you don't give up on your God, even though you walk through shadows of death, you fear no evil, for God is with us. So I want to say finally that in all things, my faith is in God and my trust is in God. Thank you so much for following me and thank you everyone for sharing your birthday wishes with me. I take it and I say cheers to everyone for listening to my videos and I pray that you will you have a few things to learn from it and also share with other people. Thank you so much.